Welcome to our lecture online. Today we're going to talk about some algebra, something specific here called finding the distance between two points. And so here, for example, one, I have two points. And to get a feel of what that looks like, let's put those two points on the xy plane. So let's draw an x-axis, y-axis. Here we go, there's our y-axis, there's our x-axis. The first point has an x-coordinate of 3 and a y-coordinate of 2. So 1, 2, 3, uh, 1, 2. And so where those two points meet, when you draw lines across like that, that's our first point. And let's label it. That's the point 3, 2. And our second point has a x coordinate minus 4, minus 2, 3, 4. And a y coordinate of 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right there. So when those two meet right there, that's our point negative 4, comma 8. If you now draw a line between the two points, from one to the other, you can see now that the length of that line is the distance between those two points. And to get a feel of how we can figure out what the distance is, you can like make a triangle like that, draw a straight line this way, Just draw a straight line this way, and notice that the distance from that point to that, that point is simply the difference between the two y coordinates, 8 minus 2. And so this here would be the difference in the y, and let's label that as the uh, line b. Over here, the length of this line is the difference between the two x-coordinates. So this distance right here, let's, uh, let's draw it like this. So this distance right here is the difference between the x values of the two points, which let's label that as a. So let's put the a right there. And this here, the hypotenuse, let's label it c. And then you know that from Pythagorean theorem that a squared plus b squared equals c squared or c squared equals a squared plus b squared, and taking the square root of both sides, you get c equals the square root of a squared plus b squared. a being the length here, which is different between the two x values, b being the length here, which is different between the two y values of the two points. So if we now want to write that in a more algebraic fashion, we can say that c is equal to the square root of the difference between the two x values, x2 minus x1 squared, plus the difference between the two y values, y2 minus y1 squared. All right, and let's try this a little bit further. There we go. So that would be our distance formula. Now let's utilize our example here to show you how you can calculate the distance between the two points. So the first thing I recommend you do is label this. This can be then your x1, y1, and this can be the x2, y2. Now, it doesn't matter which one you label uh, as x1, y1, and which one you label as x2, y2. You can reverse that, and you'll get the exact same answer. So now let's plug these values in here. So we have c is equal to the square root of x2 is minus 4 minus x1, which is 3, and we square that, plus y2 right here, which is 8, minus y1, which is 2. And then we square that as well. So we get c is equal to the square root minus 4 minus 3, that's minus 7 squared, plus 8 minus 2, which is 6 squared. So we get c is equal to the square root of 49 plus 36, which is equal to the square root of 85. And if you want to know a more exact value for that, or at least in decimal form, I don't know if it's more exact per se, but if you'd like to see the decimal equivalent of that, 85, take the square root, you get 9.22. So that would be the length or the distance between the two points. And just so you can see that it really doesn't make any difference which way you label the points, let's say that we have the point 3, 2 and the point minus 4, 8. Let's say that now you label this one as x2 and y2 and label this one as x1, y1. And then again, we use the distance formula that the distance between them is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, just like before. And now let's plug in these values. So for x2, we have 3. So c is equal to the square root of 3 minus x1, which is minus 4. That's so minus 4. So plus y2, which is 2, minus y1, which is 8. And so we square that as well. And now what do we get? We get c is equal to the square root of 3 minus a minus 4, subtract a negative number, it's like adding a positive number, so that's 3 plus 4, which is 7 squared, plus 2 minus 8, that's a minus 6 squared, so c is equal to the square root of 49 plus 36, which means c is equal to the square root of 
85, and we get the exact same answer that we did before. So you can see it doesn't matter which way you label your points. So again, to find the distance between two points, you simply find the difference between the two x values, the x coordinates of the two points. You find the difference between the two y coordinates of the points. Then you square those differences, add them together, take the square root of that sum, and you get the distance between any two points on the coordinate system. That's how you do that.